All right, get your cassette tapes out, get your VHS tapes out, because this is all about the 90s. We're doing a 90s photo shoot with the original Fuji X100 in this video. Let's get into it. I'm a firm believer that music can make or break any project, so it's extremely important to me that I use the highest quality music I can find. That's why I love Musicbed. The problem with stock music services is they all sound like stock music. With Musicbed, you get access to hundreds of thousands of tracks that sound just as good as anything you'd hear on Spotify or Apple Music. Honestly, I use Musicbed like a streaming service. With their app, you can stream music on the go to get inspired and save music for future projects so you're never left hunting for the right track. So if you're looking for high quality music for your projects, head over to musicbed.com and enter the code I'm Patrick T at checkout. You'll get your first month free with the purchase of an annual subscription. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Thank you again to Musicbed for sponsoring this video. Some context and some inspiration. Uh, a little while ago, I saw an article from GQ with Robert Pattinson, AKA Battinson. If you haven't seen the Batman yet, definitely check that out. I have a review of that movie on my channel. I'll be doing some more Batman stuff very soon as well. But there was an article on GQ with Robert Pattinson in an absolutely stellar 90s photo shoot. I love the aesthetic of this shoot so much. I was like, I wanna do this. I wanna try my hand at doing a 90s photo shoot. And so we did. I couldn't think of anyone better than my buddy Isaac, who most of you know as Knoopsy on the internet, absolutely wonderful tech YouTuber and even better human being to be my Robert Pattinson for this video and this photo shoot. So I hit him up and I was just basically like, look, check out this GQ photo shoot with Rob. Like, I think we can do something like this. Like both of us have a similar aesthetic when it comes to like old technology and wardrobe and all that kind of stuff. So why don't we just get into the studio and see if we can pull off a similar aesthetic to this GQ 90s photo shoot. So I gathered up as many props and wardrobe things that I could, went to the thrift store, got all my stuff that I personally collect. I like to collect cassette tapes and VHS tapes. I have old technology like boom boxes and a CRT TV. So we were really covered when it came to the wardrobe and the set design for this. And we just went into a studio that I use quite often that also has an aesthetic and a vibe that I knew I could sort of play around with to make it look even more 90s with lighting. So I didn't use a whole lot of lighting for this photo shoot, just a couple tube lights and a soft box because I really just wanted to use mostly natural light. And I also really wanted to give it like a hard flash front feel. And that's a big reason why I chose to use the original Fuji X100 for this video. Now, my buddy Lee actually reminded me recently that this is the 10th year anniversary of the Fuji X100, which is wild. And I've done a video on the Fuji X100 before, which you can check out if you want to dive into the Fuji X100 itself. But it's also just a camera that I kind of bought for posterity and for collector's reasons, not so much the actual shooting experience of it. I do love shooting with the original X100 because it feels like shooting on film. And for this particular shoot, I was like, you know, being able to slow down because this camera is just so damn old. And also the sensor being older, giving it a bit of a vibe that we just don't get from a modern camera. I was like, this could be kind of fun. And more than anything, I love that the X100 has a built-in flash because I really wanted to give these images a built-in party flash sort of pop effect. I just thought it'd be really cool to use an old camera for an old style photo shoot. And this 
camera did an absolutely stellar job. Like this thing is 10 years old and it's still a wonderful raw image that you can edit to pretty much whatever you want. And it's also still a Super 35 APS-C sensor. It's a really old camera. So it's slow, it's clunky. There's no burst with this camera. The buffer, even after taking a shot, takes like three or four seconds to load it onto your card. So this is gonna force you to really sit down and be like, what's the frame and the composition of this shot that I'm taking? And you're not just sitting there bursting, hoping you're getting shot. There's no eye autofocus or anything like this thing is an extremely extremely slow camera throughout the shoot I didn't only use the X100 I got a lot of cool shots even with the a7 IV and even my Fuji XT3 but really the main focal point for me was to have some fun with a really old digital camera everyone loves buying old film cameras but for some reason we sort of just forget that there's a whole world of digital cameras for the last 10 15 years that we can play with that were top of the line you know best of the best when they came out and even to this day these cameras are still really good. They're not gonna have all the modern amenities that we're used to, like a crazy fast burst rate, eye autofocus, Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. But if you really wanna slow down and just appreciate photography and not so much all the tech that comes with it, I think buying an old digital camera can be a lot of fun. And the Fuji X100 is the best of those old cameras in my opinion for that experience. Because it's slow, it's clunky, it's old, it feels and looks like a film camera. It's got an optical viewfinder too and an electronic viewfinder if you need it. And I said this in my X100 video, I feel like it's just the best of both worlds. It's the best of having a 35 millimeter feeling experience with a digital file. And so just like we always talk about, like if you find an inspiration for something and you're like, oh, I really like this thing, go experiment and try to do it. You know, pick up an old camera if you want to have some fun with it too. It might open up some new perspective for you and you might do something you wouldn't typically do with a modern camera. The thing about cameras now is because all of them are so good, I'm always striving for finding technology that makes me excited. And I think like picking up old technology has that effect on me, whether it's VHS, whether it's an old digital camera, just having something different gives you a different perspective. And you just don't end up making the same cookie cutter stuff all the time that everybody seems to be making. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like the 90s vibes. Uh, I'll put a link to the entire photo shoot if you wanna see the entire set that we put together out of this. But thank you again to Isaac for being an absolutely stellar model in this. My little brother Michael who did all the behind the scenes with the VHS camcorder and Liam who was a wicked production assistant. Otherwise, my name is Patrick Tomasso. If you have any questions about the original Fuji X100, about this video, about anything at all, if you want to talk about the Batman, let me know in the comments. We'll have a little conversation about it. Otherwise, you will see or hear me next time I feel like making a video.